Hi folks, once again, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. And today, we're going to do the unboxing on the CM500 Netgear cable modem. I ordered it the other day, and then we'll have a little channel news also. Uh, but let's get right to that unboxing. Let's do that right now. Intro. Alright folks, uh, what we've got here is the uh, Dosis 3.0 Netgear CM500 High Speed Cable Modem. This one I believe is good for Fairly high speeds and that's a good thing so that's what we want so here we go we're only gonna unbox it but that's all, all we got for today so far tomorrow we're gonna have some cool stuff to talk about I'm going to get the plastic off first. Yeah, that's always the fun part. Got to get the plastic off. Oh, Good forbid. Yeah. Don't get the plastic off. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I keep running into the gooseneck now. Uh -huh. hmm. Get rid of that stuff. And then we're going to see what we have to do here to get this puppy. Well, let's, let's go over what it says here. Uh, it has 16 by 4 channel bonding up to 680 meg per second. Which, of course, my router isn't going to really go any faster than about it's usually like that three ninety nine on uh, on uh, wireless AC although this particular phone we're on I hooked up to it the other day now we're only five feet apart uh, and I got four ninety nine obviously on an internal network not going out to the web So, let's get right around here to getting this box open. Making sure everything is here working and wondrous. It's kind of a pain because this is a big box and I ain't got a lot of room in here. So I'm exploring <laughs> well, let's see what else we have. Let's just keep looking. Yep. So on the back we're gonna have one gigabit Ethernet port and mm. Our router or our cable will come in right there, and then the Ethernet port will hook to my router, and we're off to the races. If the dumbass in charge here can figure out how to open this. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh. So let's let's see what's in the box. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh. Look at that. Uh. Uh. Sometimes got a quick start guide there. And 
the listing of the package contents. And in reality, I think there will be much to show you here, folks. There really isn't going to be much to show you. We've got a little big carton type thing in here. All right there. That contains our modem. Yay. So let's uh let's get her out of the, out of there. Oh wow. Uh, <laughs> and uh, there she is folks. That's the whole thing. There's our Mac number and our serial number. Cool. And uh, a couple of lights. <laughs> Let me. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. They threw in a Ethernet cable. Need that. And uh, we've got our power supply here. Let's check that real quick. That is 12 volts at one and a half amps. So that's uh, 16 watts. Not much there. We're not going to be sucking down the electricity here at the house. Oh, the studio, as it were. Alright, so I'm going to get this thing out of the plastic before. Jeez, mm -hmm. they have plastic around the plastic. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, well, it's America. We're going to keep the, like, the plastic shops. Ooh, it's a, kind of a very pretty router. Mm -hmm. And so, it goes. Ooh, kind of a peeling experience. 12 volts, 1.5 amps. Ethernet, a little reset button, and our cable internet. Uh, on this side will be all our nifty lights that will come on once. Oh. Yeah. Folks. <laughs> Have a uh, Decided to uh, hook the cable up next Friday. We're going to pause right there and we'll get back to the... Okay, folks. So, uh, just the last little bit of info. Uh, tomorrow, we'll, we should have an unboxing. and an actual hands-on usage and review shouldn't take long. While we clean off our keyboard, the... Art Tech Bluetooth 3.0 Super Thin Backlit Keyboard with this gizmo and uh, it looks like it'll be a pretty cool device. It's supposed to be here by 8 p.m. I know the Postal Service it'll get here at about 6 in the morning and it'll be here by 8 or 9 latest am so it'll be you know knocking on the door or doing something with it so that'll be cool so we'll have another unbox and i apologize for the previous unbox that was a kind of a cluster uh i just didn't realize how big that damn thing is uh, the box the actual device wasn't and I'm just kind of excited to have it, and I wanted to get it out, and I was happy to see they threw in the Ethernet cable and uh, the power supply. 
wasn't going to suck down the juice. And the fact I'll be able to just have a fresh Ethernet cable plug into the router. And we're going to get some good speeds out of that. The other thing we're still waiting on is the Skinomi. They haven't shipped it yet. And I, you know, it's not supposed to get here till at earliest the 29th or September 4th latest. Yeah, but that's okay. Now, if you remember, we're also giving away uh, the uh, Blue Studio Energy. Two phone uh, right there. We're doing a giveaway on it now. You can still get cases for these. I, I've checked. I found out you can go to Walmart.com and get one of these super cool Skinomi screen protectors for it. Now, was that? little crack in the screen which you know I've told everyone is there which doesn't affect how it operates but you can run your thumbnail over it and if you try real hard you can kind of feel it it's in the outer layer uh, once you put one of those matte screens on it you won't be able to see that crack you won't be able to feel it so that would be a good thing so, if whoever decides they actually want to win it, and by the way, I, as I mentioned the other day in the previous video, I believe, first person to leave a comment, a viable comment that says, I live in the United States, blah, 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 blah. Ah. Uh, He's going to get this phone, the Blue Studio, and that'll be cool. It's still a good little phone. i give it to you. Grandma, your grandpa, anyway. And so, you don't even have to watch the whole damn video. Just leave a comment saying, yeah, I'd like that phone. And then just tell me you live in an area with GSM, which is very important. It's a GSM phone. It is a dual SIM, but one of the SIM slots has got some broken pins, so you're going to have to use SIM slot number two. And um, it does have a 32 gig micro SD card in it, which means, whoa, cool. You can snap a whole lot of photos on the 32 gig. And it, it shoots, you know, fairly respectable video. And uh, you can plug an external mic into it, like a voice pop or a paladu. And it works like a champ, because it has a headset jack. And it makes somebody an excellent little pocket phone or backup phone. Or a secondary phone, or just a phone to just shoot videos on, like I've been using it for. Uh, not anymore, since I got the Mi A2, of course. That is now the new video shooter. Yeah! And of course, the Mi A2 is getting the skin on my mat skin. And that's about all I got for today, so check out the description below for links to everything I've mentioned and uh, make sure that if you found this the least bit informative or just want to leave a comment about the horrible unboxing sorry about that I just oh boy it just didn't go as planned uh, I mean, you got the idea though, it's a fairly small object and it's going to save me 10 bucks a month and we had to get it out of the box and see what was in there. And uh, my math was a little wrong, it's going to be an 18 watt adapter, which still not much at all. 
No plug right into my router, which I'll turn the router off during the day. There's no point in having my router on if I'm not here. So, all that being said, have a fantastic day. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, hit the little channel ding, bell icon, and uh, that's pretty much it, folks. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again tomorrow.